Hello, my name is Yang Kang. My presentation topic is Excel Environment Analysis of Technical System for Establishing RNG Creativities. The presentation consists of three parts. The first part is about the need to develop an external environment analysis methodology and tool. It can be easily used by ordinary researchers and small and medium-sized companies. In the second part, I will talk about the external environment analysis methodology and tool we develop. Last part is conclusion. Establishing appropriate R&D strategy by understanding and predicting technology development is very important for researchers in the era of the post industrial evolution in which technology developed rapidly and lifetime of products is very short. Representative methods for prediction of future technology such as the delta technique, chemist mining, analytic hierarchy process, and technology roadmap require considerable cost in time as based on extensive data. It is difficult for ordinary researchers or small and medium-sized companies with limited time and economy resources to use them. In addition, these methods have the potential to produce false results because they rely on this sure visual or collective intelligence in subject to play. Therefore, it is necessary to develop a new methodology for establishing future technology development methods that is objective and can easily be used by general research. A new method for establishing future technology development strategies by applying technology evolution patterns is to predict technology development objectivity. The technology evolution patterns were discovered and used for solving problems of technical system by Gany Archul, the founder of the theory of inventive problem solving trees. He discovered how patent analysis, the technical systems evolve according to objective patterns and call those patterns uh, law, laws of technical system evolution. Technology evolution patterns and plans can be used to predict the future without being affected by the subjectivity of individual researchers both their objective laws for the development of technical systems. According to technology evolution patterns plans, the technical system can evolve in several directions and the direction of technical system evolution is determined by several conditions. One of the precise conditions is external environment of the technical system. Commonly used tools to analyze external environment, including step, path, and castle, have the advantage in systematically classifying the changing characters in numerous and complicated external environment in social, knowledgeable, economic, environment, political, and legal ends. However, there is a qualitative basic investi investigation method generally used with quantitative analysis method, such as Delphi and big data analysis to analyze specific fields. It means that as the environment analysis requires the involvement of many experts from various fields, as well as an enormous amount of cost and time. Consequently, individual researchers or researchers from small and medium sized companies with limited resources, partner time, and budget find it difficult to take advantage of external environment analysis methods and RD trainings. This study aims to develop a methodology and tool to analyze ethnic environment. Ordinary researchers or small and medium sized companies. Using RD training is being effective. The research scope is development of a method in every general research use chip analysis, a typical external environment method, as an aid to RD training. To do so, 
with the life key factors and indicators uh, and analyze the relationship between them and a technical system based on the systematic analysis method of tools. Then we started with uh, the basic methodology of the study, systematic thinking method and tool of trees called multi-screen system operator. The sense of trees method of systematic thinking rise on the analysis of a system from various perspectives. It is function, time, structure, and component. In order to approach this level of thinking, can we actually develop a special tool or system operator called the nine screen system? The name is the light from the television screen. This figure shows the application of the nine screen uh, system operator for the three system. In this, we can uh, image nine variants of the tree from the tree in its entirety to a single leaf or branch to a forest uh, and so on, along with the same variants from the past, the present, and, and future. This tool allows us to easily consider a given system in terms of changes in time and different hierarchy levels. In the, in the environment of a given system, we can find other systems, super systems, which have a direct or indirect influence on the system to operate. In the super systems of a given system, there are often components with which it interacts. An analysis of needs, the needs of such components may lead to a new uh, functionalities for a given system. Uh, it should mention the nine screens is minimal and the system can be extended by more screens. It can be a uh, super for system and uh, sub subsystem by expanding everything in time and at each level. Mm. Such, uh, such an approach systematically and uh, dynamically reflect the development of the system. In this study, we apply the basic concept of the systematic analysis method of trees for the external environment analysis of the system. We define the super super system of a given system as macro environmental factors and the super system as micro environmental factors that are directly related with the system. Step analysis is used to analyze the main indicators in five areas, social, technological, economic, environmental, and political area, to identify key trends in each area. The quality of the analysis relies on the amount and level of related relevant data, as well as indicators. The step Factors, classification, and indicator slightly um, differ depending on organizations. We examine the indicators used by the six organizations and researchers in the field of um, business management, science, and technology, and marketing. And the indicators were largely divide, divided in two ways. It's listing by areas and subcategorization by specific subjects. In the former case, users can identify the main indicators for each area, but the number of indicators is not small. Most of all, 
it is not easy for not experts to reach a meaningful interpretation using the relevant indicators. In the latter case, it is relevantly easy for non experts to interpret the meaning of indicators as they are classified by the subject. But there are times when users have to find the indicators themselves. Let's uh, take an example of demographic indicators in social areas. In the first classification, listing by areas, the indicators are present, presented as birth rate, uh, death rate, population by age, etc. On the other hand, in the second classification, subcategorization by specific subjects, demographic indicators are specified under the subject of influence on demand and supply where specific demographic indicators can be derived only if the purpose and scope of the analysis is clearly defined. To improve the usability of the external involved analysis method among non experts, we established the criteria to select indicators and data as follows. Reducing time and cost required to obtain and interpret data. Ensuring properties, objectivity, and accessibility of the data. And providing guidelines for non-experts to interpret data and understand relations more easily. Accordingly, we attempted categorize the sub factors and select indicators for each area of step so that even non experts can easily identify the nece necessary indicators and find relevant data by themselves. Now, the figure on this slide shows the process of extracting key factors and indicators for each step area. First, we establish the purpose and scope of the analysis. The purpose is to derive main factors of the macro environment field affecting product and market oriented technology development. And the scope is short and medium term plans in the social, technological, economic, environment, and political fields affecting supply and demand of technology and products. And we define the key topic for each field of step. The key topic in the social field was defined as changes in consumers. The key topics in the technological field and was defined as visibility of innovation. The key topic in the economic field was defined as possibility of economic vitalization. The key topic in the environment field was defined as environmental change related to well being. And the key topic in the political field was defined as changes in the roles and functions of the government affecting the market. Then we reclassified and subcategorized specific factors and indicators for each field of step used by researchers in six organizations in the business and management, science and technology, and marketing fields. To this end, we established two criteria for reclassification and subcategorization. The first is the key concepts of analysis, which is presented as a specific subtopic according to the key topic in each field. And the second is the subject of analysis, that is, whether it is a status analysis or a change analysis. After that, we determine classification levels according to subcategorization. We set the key factors in three-level hierarchy as follows. Factors level 
one includes data data, factors level two, major trends, and factors level three, global trends. This table shows the classification criteria and description of indicators related to main factors in each area of state, defined according to the process explained in the previous slide. In this, foreign status data was described as basic statistics related to basic conditions and structural formation in the field. Uh, type of data is quantitative and statistical data. Data sources are mainly public and government agencies. Major trends in factor level two include key to changes in each area based on the level one indicators. And the type of data is qualitative data, it is a four test. Global trends in factors level three include global level main information for level one and two, and the data type is quantitative and qualitative data and data sources are domestic and foreign public institutes such as UN, OECD, World Bank, Global Science and Technology, Postal Service, Foreign Institute for Industrial, Economic and Trade and Making the Global Institute. This and the next slide shows the specific factors for each area of step the life based on classification criteria explained in the previous slide. The enormous macro environment factors were classified into large, medium, and small categories. The method was applied to the large classification. The medium classification the context for each one of the steep areas was subcategorized according to the analysis topic to define the key concepts corresponding to the analysis topic. Finally, existing factors and indicators were classified in detail in the small category. We classified the factors in three levels of status main trends, global trends. Now, I will explain our method in detail, taking an example of the classification of social and technological areas. The key concept of the analysis of uh, social area were identified as changes in demographic and consumption structure. The factors and indicators of social areas, such as main demographic and household indicators, ZNI per capita, capita, household consumption expenditure, total savings rate, and ratio of women workers were classified into level one, analyzed population and household and income structure status. Main factors indicators of the level two understanding understand the changes in domestic demographic and consumption structures, population and households projection analysis, household income and consumption changes, generation classification and characteristics, digital life changes, risk of trendy problems. They mainly include qualitative data research report. Main factors and in indicators of level three to, to understand the changes in global demographic and consumption structure are population by country indicators, lower population forecast, CNI per capita in each country, global digital life changes. The key concept 
of analysis of technological area was identified as RNG policy changes. The factors and indicators such as emerging technologies, ICT issues, set and the rebel one group with the purpose of understanding the current state of technological development. In order to understand the changes in domestic R&D policy of government and companies, we set the factors indicators such as R&D investment, R&D researchers, I know some means, technological industry support and regulation policies in the level two group. And the same factors and indicators at the global level were set in the level three group to understand the global R&D policy change. And this line shows the classification of main factors and indicators for environment and political areas according to our classification scheme. This should be mentioned again that all of the factors and indicators defined in this study are the factors and indicators used by researchers from six organizations in the field of business management, science and technology and marketing and we classified according to the key concepts we identified. The classification system in this uh, study is characterized by the division of a range of factors and data into key concepts according to the hierarchical level, guiding users to easily find the factors, indicators, and data required for analyzing external environment around key concepts. It is relatively easy to extract keywords around main concepts from the mega trend literature to analyze the trend in each step area. This will be explained in the next slide. In this study, the trend in each step area was analyzed around the level two in each area. There are many methods of deriving the trends. First, users investigate the data of main factors by key concepts and analyze the patterns of changes. Second, users extract core keywords from the existing literature to analyze mega trends, considering duplicates, similarities, and relationships for the results of search with key concepts. Tables on this slide and the next slide show the core keywords for an analysis of the trends in social areas derived by second method. Key topic words of level two, such as population, household, income, consumption, generation, digital, and trend products were used as search words in the periodic research report on future society forecast published by the Korean Institute, Institute of Science and Technology uh, evalu evalu Evaluation and Planning in 2021. For example, the result of searching core keywords by above mentioned for demographic change are as follows. Um, super aging increased need for elderly employment, the need of health and equal equality of life, increased demand for medical and healthcare technology, ultra low birth rate, uh, decreased social age, youth population, worsening of imbalance between age groups, workers' safety, and declining productivity. Balance in supply and demand of labor, increased migration between countries, needs of bioengineering technology, 
increase in all population demand for smart seed mega urbanization. And the result of research for keywords for characteristics of generation are as follows. Where diversification, generation conflict, worsening of social complex, diversification in generation composition, digital gap, emergence of new consumption generation, mobile human spaces, your more generation, generation energy, places, importance on individualism, and places in reality and diversity. Here you, um, when a statistical analysis is need, is need, need for the content life from the key trends in level two, Quantitative data on level one are used, and if analysis is required in global dimension, level three data can be used. We created a steep analysis template to make it easier to use the classified factors and indicators by distinguishing two levels of status, main trends, global trends. I will show you this template in the next. By summarizing the analysis at different hierarchy levels and at different times, it is in the past, the present, and the future. A step analysis template is composed based on the keywords on each of each area as shown in figure on this one. It was designed to find necessary data and data uh, resources, data sources uh, easily according to the key concepts of each area and identify the trend changes quickly through changes in the core keywords instead according to the changes from the past, present, and future. For example, the keywords extracted by area repeatedly appearing across the area of step include polarization, imbalance, deepening, complex, individualization, connectivity, diversification, multiplication, immortalization, digital economy, platform service, circular economy, and the organization of traditional global value chain. Based on this finding, we can forecast the overall macro external environment trends for the near future. Now, let me move on to the problem of a super system analysis. The key problem of super system analysis in this study is to identify and classify the super elements defined as micro or external environment factors. And to solve this problem, we apply the portal's five forces, a very useful framework for analyzing competition among existing companies in industry and market. This method divided the business involvement in different levels and indirectly analyzed the impact of macro involvement factors on companies through the competitive forces of the industry the company belongs to. The competitive forces are defined as competitive uh, rivalry suppliers, buyers, potential entrants, and uh, substitutes in the classical, classic classification in economics and business management. Most importantly, the five forces analysis intends to predict the 
probability of survival and success of a company or a product in the market and define the factors having a direct impact on it. In the field of marketing, micro five forces are defined as micro environmental factors that is suppliers, resellers, customers, competitors, and the public. They are in direct contact with organization or company beyond the counter of marketing. However, they still influence decisions made when creating strategic marketing plans. From market centers uh, R&D planning, we divided external environment and the super super system are common macro environment and super system micro environmental factor that has a direct impact on the products in the market according to the systematic analysis method and analyze the influence between the two systems. The five actors of the five forces analysis that influence a company's long-term survival and success apply to define super system more specifically dividing it into the five elements, including drivers and new entrants in addition to supplies, consumers, and substitutes. We created a super system analysis template to systematically analyze the impact of the key trends in each area of speed as macro environmental factors on each of the five forces as micro environmental factors. I will show you this template in the next slide. Uh, this is an example of social area. Users can specify the five super system of a given system and identify their impact on the system and understand the relationship with core keywords by level in each area specified in the step analysis template. The frequency of the words related to core keywords in each step area indicates the degree of impact on the system. Bigger a figure on this slide summarizes the future prediction method for technical systems based on trees multi-screen map. The external environment factors of a technical system were di divided into super super systems, macro envi environmental factors, and super systems, micro environmental factors, based on the trace market screens. The trends of the five super super systems were de derived using step method, and five super systems were defined by applying the five forces analysis method. The super super system analysis method was intended to facilitate a systematic subcategorization sub of extensive uh, conventional factors for each area of step extraction of necessary indicators and understanding of the relationship between the indicators. The key to the super system analysis of technical system is to identify the relationship between the five super system which have direct impacts on the survival or success of a product or technology in the market and each factors of the super system and to define the external factors that can affect the future development of the technical system. 
template for SIP analysis and two processing analysis were created to derive main SIP keywords and to suggest a structure to analyze their relationship and influence on the five super system in terms of time and space. In sum, we developed the ESPER environment analysis method and tools from a practical perspective, which can be easily used by ordinary researchers and engineers. We provided a guideline to analyze the impacts of the main factors of social, technological, economical, economic, environmental, and political areas, respectively on the sustainability super system by using the step analysis template and the super system analysis template created based on three smart screens model. The external environment analysis tool is expected to be used to define external environment factors with significant effects on the technical system when planning R&D and develop corresponding strategies. In a follow-up study, we validate this by applying the tool to specific technical systems. Thank you.